What is going on guys? This is Spade. This is going to be a product review, which is something you don't see a whole lot on my YouTube channel. I got approached by a company called Pop Voice uh, by Vivian at Pop Voice USA asking if I would be interested in doing a review on a lavalier microphone that they have. I'm wearing it right now. This is not the microphone that you're hearing. Uh, just to give you a heads up, what we are actually hearing is this Pop Voice PV510+. Plus. Uh, it's just a basic lapel microphone, and it retails for $9.99 on Amazon. And if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description to where if you make up your mind after the video to buy one, you can look it up, look everything up, and make your decision and buy one if you want to, if it fits in that price budget. Now, we're going to go over a couple of things in this video. This comes with a few things. It comes with extra fuzzies to go over the microphone. It comes with a PC adapter. It says PC adapter, uh, but the jack on this microphone itself is a three-post adapter or a three-post plug, 3.5 millimeter, which for most people that would know that is it's a three-post also, for whatever reason, is for headphones. This does not have a way to monitor your voice, so that third post, I'm not sure why, is there. So it has a PC adapter that steps it down to a two-post to just plug directly into a mic port on a computer. So that way it just reads left and right channel audio. So got that out of the way. One of the things I did notice is that right off the bat, I tried to do some testing on my stream using this microphone just so I could do everything live mix and stuff. Uh, this microphone does not work with any kind of mixer, or at least mine. I can't say with any kind, but with mine. On my mixer, I have a couple of options in terms of a quarter inch jack to a 3.5 millimeter so I can plug stuff in and adjust EQ levels. I actually uh, tried to use that today and it didn't work. So this doesn't have a high enough impedance or output uh, to even activate on the mixer itself. So one of the things we're going to go over, you're actually listening to this microphone right now which is a Sterling, Sterling Audio ST51, which is a studio microphone. Depending on where you look, it averages from around 100 to 150 bucks. I've had this for eight years, eight years or so. Uh, so this is the audio that you're hearing. And one of the things you're going to hear also is that I have a little personal fan to my right that is blowing air beside me. It's not blowing air at the microphone. So this microphone will more than likely pick it up because the type of condenser mic that it is. So this one probably picks it up very light. This one's probably going to pick it up a lot. So we're going to go ahead and switch to this one. Okay, so what we're hearing now is this microphone. I'm going to give it a tap so you guys can hear. And inside Windows, it is set at 80% out of the volume inside Windows. It sounds a little tinny to me. It's really thin sounding. I did use it to do a couple of test recordings on my phone, just a couple of sound bites. I do a lot, I won't say a lot, but I have done some car vlogs inside my BMW where I would just drive and talk. And in those videos, I used my Apple earbuds microphone. And I just plugged it into my phone, tucked it into my shirt, used it as a lavalier mic. Was very satisfied with how that sounded and how that came through on videos. It wasn't great, but it worked and it sounded really good. And then so when Pop Voice approached me, I was like, this would be a good alternative if it's actually pretty decent. So I plugged it into my phone, did a couple of recordings. It's not as good in terms of sound quality to me as my Apple earbuds microphone, but it's it's okay. You know, it's, it's a $10 microphone, it's $9.99. You know, they did pay for this. They they paid for the microphone and shipped it to me. So I did receive it for free under the guise of me giving them an Amazon review. I didn't say I was going to make a video or anything like that. This is my choice just because it's better to give you guys sound bites to go from than just, hey, this is good. This is not good in a typing scenario. So it's always nice to be able to attach a video to something. So in terms of the audio quality, I don't think it's bad. It's not great. So if you're just looking for something to plug into your phone and use on the go, like a microphone on the go, instead of one of my situations that I have on my iPhone is it has 
two different microphones, like one on the one on the bottom, like down here, and then one on the face, like right here. So, in some instances, whenever I'm recording a video without a mi without a microphone plugged into it, the audio gets the mic audio gets a little out of balance, you know. So one picks it up, one doesn't. So it sounds like I'm further away, and then out of nowhere, it's like, hey, your voice is coming in fine. So these types of micro microphones will cut that down and fix that situation and give you a somewhat better audio depending on how close you are or how far you away, are away from the phone if you're not using one of these. So that's going to be your bread and butter. This That's the people that are going to purchase this. It's not for people that are wanting to stream, record YouTube videos. You can. It's not the best option, you know, but if your option is literally 10 bucks sure uh, you know that's your choice but this is how it sounds compared to let me go ahead and unmute my mixer this is how it comp compares to something like this you know you just have to pick what you're wanting to get out of it you know I prefer this type of audio compared to something like this type of audio you know it's just your choice what funds do you have what do you want to do in that situation so if, if you're a young kid just looking for a mic, 10 bucks, plug it in your computer, call it a day. You know, it'll, it'll work for you. It'll get the job done until you can save up to do something else. But if you're, I won't say die hard, but if you're, if you take audio relatively seriously, like your microphone audio, mic audio is a big deal to a lot of people, particularly me. If I go into a stream or anything like that and a person's mic is just, garbage and sounds something along the lines of this if your microphone sounds like this i'm leaving i can't do it i don't like it i uh, it's not that i'm an audiophile but we're having to listen to that so if it's going to be something lesser quality you need to step it up especially this day and age there's quality products that are cheap you know that are easily available at hand like blue yeti microphones Stuff like that are like 40 bucks now, you know, but they don't like lapel mics. It's kind of hard. There is a, a company called Edutage that make lapel microphones. Uh, they're a little bit pricier, like, like way more compared to this. But the, the audio quality that they have is insane in terms of a lapel microphone. This does have a couple of pluses, like the cord is super long. I really think it's a 12 foot cord, you know, so depending on where you're sitting, you could use this. This will actually plug into your PS4 controller. <laughs> like, it'll plug directly into it. It'll plug directly into your PS4 controller on the bottom, and you can use it as a mic, and it'll be better than the little headset they give you with a PS4. So there's a couple of benefits to it, but it's not going to be the best sounding thing in the world. And I just wanted to give, give you guys my opinion. I looked up a couple of people's videos, and they're just praising it and praising it and praising it. It's a good microphone for 10 bucks. That's all I can say about it. It's a good microphone for 10 bucks. It's not great. It's not terrible by any means. I've seen some terrible ones. But you're getting what you pay for. You know, if you just want decent, a decent microphone where people can understand what you're saying, uh, sure, check it out. Link's in the description. Uh, but you could probably, if you are one of those people that has a vocal program on your computer, and you can adjust the pitch, uh, the pitch correctness and gain and stuff, like on the mic itself, you might be able to get a little bit more out of it. That's why I was trying to plug it into my mixer and see if it would pick it up, and it just wouldn't. It would not read this microphone at all. Uh, so if you have something like that on your computer and you can take the time to dial it in, that might be way better for you. But outside of that, that's all I got. So if you found this video helpful in any way, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Leave a comment let me know. Other than that... I'm going to let you guys hear this one more time. As promised, this is an audio soundbite of the Pop Voice PV510 Plus connected to my phone. My phone is an Apple iPhone X. Uh, I am using the little adapter that Apple gives you because it's a Thunderbolt. doesn't have a headphone jack anymore. But I wanted to give you guys an audio soundbite on something that you would actually use it on. I don't recommend this for PC recording or anything like that. It's definitely something that I would recommend as an on-the-go microphone uh, for better audio recording through phones or GoPros or something like that. 
That would be my recommendation for it. Uh, but I also think that my Apple earbuds microphone, which is right here, is going to be something that is better audio quality. I'm going to try to plug this in real fast without messing anything up. Alright, so now we should be connected to this microphone. I'm going to rub it, but this should be the microphone that's being picked up. I think this is a better, better audio sound to me personally. A lot of people might not agree, uh, but I definitely do. I think this is a better audio sound. Uh, either way, if you want to spend 10 bucks for something like this, to where you can just clip it on your shirt, I normally would actually just take this and throw the headbuds inside my shirt and just leave this kind of hanging and record uh, during my car videos. And that's definitely something that you can look into. But I wanted to give you guys all the audio options. On the Windows side, I was having to boost the audio significantly on this microphone with it plugged in my computer to even give you guys proper audio to where it was even audible. But anyways, thanks for checking it out.